Hi guys, this is an experiment and this is just for fun. I'm working on the next regular episodes and they're going to be from Georgia, the country, not the US state, but from Georgia. But it takes time. There's a lot there to cover, um, including a special episode about what happened after Cynthia's uh, traffic accident and and her arm and she goes to the hospital and all of that. But today I've been playing around with this uh, new thing called Google Notebook LM, where AI voices will do a podcast. I didn't write a single word of this. The voices you're going to hear are completely AI. You probably heard about it. Uh, unless you've been living under a rock. So I thought I would give it a shot as well. I basically just told this machine, do a podcast episode about the Radio Vagabond. And here's what I got back. It's pretty amazing. This is the Radio Vagabond. Hey, everyone. Welcome back for another deep dive. I'm excited for this one. Me too. Today, we're going to be diving into the career of Pally Bo, who you might know as the Radio Vagabond. Oh, I know Pally's work. Really fascinating stuff. Right. And he's got such a unique background, starting in radio production way back in 1985. Back when podcasts weren't even a thing yet. Exactly. Yeah. It really makes you appreciate his journey that much more. So he was working in radio back in 85. What was he doing? Well, he actually made a name for himself producing radio commercials. Wow. Talk about a tough gig. You've got, what, like 30 seconds to capture someone's attention and make them remember a product? It's no easy feat, that's for sure. (laughs) But Pally, he had a knack for it. He ended up winning six national awards for best radio commercial between 2010 and 2015. Six. That's incredible. Any one of those awards is a huge deal in the industry. He must have been doing something really special to stand out like that. He was. And it wasn't just national recognition either. He was also a finalist for a Con Lions Award. Whoa, the Con Lions. That's like the Oscars of advertising. What do you think it was about his work that really impressed people, even in those early days? You know, you can tell just from listening that he's a natural storyteller. Even in those short, snappy commercial formats, he manages to evoke these emotions and deliver a message in such a memorable way. I totally agree. He's got this way of drawing you in and making you really feel something, even if it's just a 30 second jingle for toothpaste. Mm. So we've got this master storyteller racking up awards for these incredible radio commercials. He makes this leap, this like totally unexpected turn into the world of podcasting. And it's not even like a, you know, dipping his toes in. Yeah. He goes all in, like sells all his stuff, decides to travel the world full time and just document his experiences. Wow, that's commitment. Yeah. Okay, so what's the podcast about? What's this Radio Vagabond all about? So it's a travel podcast. Okay. But it's not your, you know, typical, here's me talking about the sites I'm seeing. Right. He uses sound in a way that, like, yeah. it's truly immersive. You're not just hearing him talk about being in a bustling marketplace. You are there. It's like those 360 videos, but for audio. Exactly. He just has this way of transporting you, you know. And he's been recording in uh, over 120 countries. Can you imagine? Over 120. That's wild. So he's just constantly on the move, constantly recording new sound, new experience. Yeah. And he's talking to people everywhere he goes, you know, local artists, street food vendors, really getting a feel for the place. So it's not just about the sounds. It's about the stories behind the sounds. Right. And he's weaving them together in this really compelling way. So he's still storytelling just in a totally different medium now. Yeah, and he's found an audience. He's actually won some awards for this podcast, too. He's won awards. Wow, this guy can't miss. So what kind of awards are we talking about? Are these like big-time podcasting awards? Yeah, what kind of awards are we talking here? Well, in 2024 alone... uh, Okay, this year. Yeah, just this year, he was named Travel Podcaster of the Year by Lux Life. Wow, okay, impressive. And then shortlisted for both the TBEX Travel Awards and the Traverse Creator Awards. So like the top of the top in travel podcasting. Exactly, it's a big deal. Yeah, it is. So what is it, do you think, that really wows those judges? I think it goes beyond just the travel, you know what I mean? It's not just about the exotic locations or the amazing sound design. Right, right. It's that Pally has this knack for uncovering these hidden gems, these like really special stories. Oh, I know what you mean. Like he goes beyond the touristy stuff digs deeper into the culture and history of a place. And he's meeting these people, these locals who have such unique perspectives. Yes. 
And you really feel like you're experiencing these places through their eyes, you know? It's like the difference between reading a travel brochure and actually having a conversation with someone who lives there. Exactly. And he doesn't shy away from the challenges either. You know, he talks about the not so glamorous side of being a digital nomad. Which I'm sure a lot of people can relate to. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's refreshing to hear that honesty, that it's not always glamorous, but it's still so rewarding. It's inspiring, honestly. Pally's journey, I mean, it shows you that with passion, hard work, and a good microphone. And a good pair of headphones. You can really carve your own path, do something you love. Create something incredible. So to wrap things up today, folks, if there's one thing to take away from Pally Ball and his work, it's that the power of sound, the power of storytelling, it's universal. It can transport you to a bustling marketplace halfway across the world. Or it can make you feel like you're right there in the studio with a musical genius. The important thing is to find those stories that resonate with you. And maybe even share a few of your own. Who knows? You might just inspire the next Radio Vagabond. And that's a wrap on another deep dive. Thanks for listening, everyone. He's the Radio Vagabond, podcasting his way. Be free. Yeah, isn't that crazy? It's 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 not perfect, but it's oh my god, it's it's fun to listen to. A little short extra bonus episode this week, and hopefully I will be ready with a couple of episodes from Georgia starting next week. Before I let you go, I'd like to hear from you. Where are you when you're listening to these podcasts? What are you doing? Please send me a voice message. Go to theradiovagabond.com slash contact. There's a little banner saying, talk to me. You push the button and then you can record a voice message. And you get to listen to it before you press send. So you can do it over as many times as you like. And if you don't like to talk, just write me a message. Again, tell me where you are and what you're doing while you're listening to The Radio Vagabond. My name is Palabo and I gotta keep moving. See ya. Google Notebook LM.